No girl, I don't deserve you I don't get the references you refer to I love your lips, my cousin, you lack a perfume I hope to get you home, my curfew Word up! There's a special kind of girl that goes to my shows And I don't mean the goopy hoes all along the front row She's more like a wallflower, like the one that's like a sign I'm a lexer when I'm with her cause I think I like her type She might seem shy in person Hey, it's the girlfriend here from hookahpro.com And tonight we're gonna do a review of exotic mixed fruit from Royalty Tobacco. I just want to say thank you eBay Girl for sending us these samples. It's been great smoking them. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to pop that open so we can take a look at the cut. It's a medium fine cut. It's it's different from what I've seen in um, other shishas. It seems a little kind of ground up. There are a few stems in here which is nothing I'm too terribly worried about. I don't mind smoking my stems. That's how a real man does it. Oh yeah, I gotta smell it. It smells really fruity and sweet, almost candy-like. Ghost says it smells like uh, Big Chew gum. Uh, I'm a little inclined to say it does smell candy-ish. I don't know about gum, but I don't really chew Big Chew. It does smell really good. Um, I'm gonna kind of show you that it is dyed orange. Which, it's nothing I'm too opposed to. I mean, it looks prettier. Give that a little taste. And, by God, it does taste like gum. That's different. Uh, let's see how it smokes. It's a really light flavor. It's enjoyable. I don't think it tastes like gum now that I'm smoking it. Um, I will say that it does kind of give a tingle in the back of my throat, and that's just not from tasting it. It makes me think that uh, the flavoring that they use isn't artificial because I have a pseudo allergy to a lot of fruits. Um, but we're not going to talk about that here. It definitely is a stronger taste than orange is. Um, it tastes fruity, but I can't really like put my finger on what fruits there are, but I can... Let's look at the can. Uh, there's pineapples and grapes and oranges and peaches and I think a lemon and a kiwi and apples and I think a coconut. I don't even think that's a fruit. Um, I would imagine if you took all of these things and smooshed them together, this is kind of what it would taste like. Um, there's no really distinct foreground of flavor. It's just kind of all blended together on it, doing its own thing. It's not bad, though. Um, I don't think this would be my uh, everyday flavor to smoke, uh, to be honest. It's not something that I'm really too terribly thrilled with, but it does taste pretty good. And if you like mixed fruit and can handle mixed fruit, I, I don't think I can handle mixed fruit. I'm not mad enough for that. I would suggest picking it up um, from the, the other type of like mixed fruits or what I've mixed myself. It's definitely a little bit better. And it is a smooth, nice taste. It's French tobacco grown in Jordan, and French tobacco is supposed to be like really smooth. I don't know. I just... I smoke camels. It's Turkish. Come on now. Uh, that aside, there's no buzz to it. The clouds are pretty good. Uh, this shisha can really take the heat. We have four cocoa, uh, coconara <clears throat> charcoals on top of our tangiri funnel bowl with the whole 21 inch setup. Um, it's not bad. I think I'd give it uh, a 9 out of 10. But once again, not something I'd really smoke every day. Maybe bust it out for company or uh, when I'm feeling fruity. <laughs> Thank you again, eBay girl. And we're loving, we're absolutely loving it. So until next time, take it easy. If it's easy, take it twice.